Section 10.3 is all about finding limits and uh, the easiest way to find limits if you can, this is one way to to check right at the beginning for any problem we work on is by direct substitution. So if I have a limit uh, like this, limit as x approaches negative 2 of this expression, what I should try first is just um, plug in the negative 2 and see if it gives you a value out of that. Uh, if it does, then you're good to go. Then you can just be done with the problem at that point. So uh, I do negative 2 cubed minus negative 2 plus 5 and that equals negative 8 plus 2 plus 5 which does return a value of just negative 1 so the limit is then negative 1. Uh, the times what we maybe wouldn't have a value is if it was undefined. That's kind of the thing that we're looking for. But try this first and if it works then that's probably the easiest way to complete one of these problems.